This color palette may surprise you. The focus for today's episode of Color Quickie is Provence, a beautiful sort of denim blue by Bare Paint. It was requested by one of my beautiful subscribers. Thank you so much for giving me all these video ideas. I have literally thousands of colors I wanna get through, so this whole prioritization thing is helping a lot. What you can expect today is me telling you all the ways you can use Provence in your home or maybe on your home as an exterior color, but I've also put together a whole color palette so you have some great ideas for your next paint project whenever it's gonna happen. Get ready, get set, like and subscribe, and let's talk about this paint color. Provence is clearly blue, but according to the Bare Paint website, it's actually part of the purple color family, which I do find pretty interesting. But what that tells me is Provence is a blue that doesn't really favor the green side of things like your teals and your turquoise colors. This one has more of a watery denim type of blue that I really enjoy. And in terms of depth, this is actually pretty dark as a paint color. It doesn't really look like it. It's not a navy blue in terms of how dark it is. On a scale from zero to 100 in terms of brightness, it only scores a 21 on the light reflectance value scale. And this means it's only reflecting 21% of the light that hits it. So not necessarily the best case scenario when you're trying to pick a color to really brighten up the space, but what you're getting in exchange for that is depth, the richness of the color. And you can clearly see that Provence has a beautiful level of saturation. And it's great for any space that you want to introduce some saturation, introduce a beautiful blue hue that can really freshen up a space in a wonderful way. Miles away from the neutral colors that we see a lot in home staging and real estate and just interior design in general for the past 10 years. This is a color that makes a statement and for that reason, it's maybe more of an accent color. Best used for those rooms where you really want to just have something different. But as an accent color, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Accent wall, it's a great choice. You can also use it on things like furniture, front door, or even the main body of a home. If you have a house with siding, for example, I could see Provence being an excellent exterior color. It'll really bring some personality to your home. Hopefully it sort of fits within the overall feel and vibe of your neighborhood. But even if it doesn't, you do you. Now, because it's so saturated and rich, I wanted to give you some color pairings that give you other options that are maybe a bit lighter or more passive so you don't feel tethered to this beautifully rich blue. You can go for a lighter blue, like absolute zero. And comparatively, this is a color that has a 64 LRV. So it reflects a lot more light, which is good if you want a space that feels brighter, like your hallways or a sunroom or even kitchens. Honestly, I could see Absolute Zero working in a number of different rooms in your home. You could even make this a main color if you really wanna heavily lean into more of a coastal sort of feel, perhaps something a bit more nautical, modern farmhouse, all that. Typically, I do see more people going for the more warmer leaning neutrals rather than cool ones like this one in those main parts of your home, which is why my second color gives you a slightly warmer option within this palette and it's called Dove. Now Dove is a tried and true neutral paint color by Bear Paint. It has a 66 LRV. So it's very similar to Absolute Zero in terms of how light it is. It's really in a good range because it won't feel too light or too dark in a lot of situations. 60-ish LRV is pretty good in terms of interior wall colors. And not only is Dove a tiny bit lighter than that, but because it's warm yet still neutral, it is wonderful at connecting the dots within a color scheme, within an interior design as a whole. It is warm because it has that beige aspect, but it's also a bit gray leaning, making it more of a grayish. So whether you wanna lean into those blues and those cool colors and metallics and things like that, or you have other rooms where you really want that warmth to be present, a color like Dove is probably an even better choice as a main color because it helps bridge the gap bridge the divide between warm and cool, because it kind of does both at the same time. And speaking of warmth, we got a beautifully striking accent color called Red My Mind. Bit of a pun, bit of a play on words, which I love, Icky Bear. And this color feels a little bit like a sun-dried tomato red. It's very, very punchy in your face, extremely rich, very, very saturated. It has such energy that the rest of the palette wasn't necessarily lacking, but it definitely leaned more towards neutrals and cooler colors, bit of a sleek vibe. This one is in your face, it's unapologetic. A wonderful choice, even if you don't wanna use it as a wall paint color. So essentially sprinkling it in different parts of your decor, whether it's picture frames and artwork and things like that, drapery, pillows. But if you did wanna use it as a wall color, 
yeah, this is like a one room type of situation, maybe powder room, really fiery color, something that you don't wanna spend too much of your time in because in small doses, it rules. But if you decide to use it in a room that you're gonna be spending a majority of your day in, it's probably a bit much. But what better way to cut through the blues than to give you some fiery reds. So in terms of trim colors, if you wanna paint your baseboards and your doors and your frames and your crown molding and whatever, Vibrant White would be my first choice because it's clean, it's stark, it's crisp, and a little bit cool. So that's great for all the neutral colors and the cooler colors. And then of course, Provence, that straight out blue. Even if you went with Red My Mind, white trim or off-white trim tends to be the favorable choice for a lot of people because it'll always look clean and crisp and finished. But you don't always wanna go with a white trim. Sometimes a darker trim is more fun, a little more dramatic. Dark denim would be my dark trim choice, very much because you got that light denim feel with Provence. How about some dark denim to go with it? So clearly we're going with a dark blue and a darker blue. And dark denim is technically part of the black color family according to Bear, so it has enough in it to make it feel very, very dark. I wouldn't quite call it an off black, but it's pretty close considering how much blue it has. Charcoal navy. How's that sound? Here's the palette all together. Let me know what you think about it. And also if you wanna support us other than liking and subscribing, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button and supporting our endeavors to be the best YouTube channel on painting and decorating ever. Are we doing it? Maybe more videos right over here.